everyone, I'm Carissa Beal and today we're going to be hitching with Lipscomb University President Randolph Lowry. Hello, well, welcome. I'm Randy. Nice to meet you. I'm Carissa. Thanks Good for to see you. tracking your ride with Hitch today. Well, I'm glad to be here. Briefly tell us how you rose to become the president of Lipscomb University. Well, much more interesting is I think what we do as the president of the university. All right, share that with me. Uh, I was a law professor in California. Nashville's new to me. Uh, came 12 years ago to this 125-year-old uh, university now and uh, every day get up and try to uh, keep up with 6,000 students uh, in our university and academy. Uh, try to be a wonderful uh, member of this larger Nashville community in service and uh, try to take students who come from 48 states and maybe 57 foreign countries wow. and prepare them for the rest of their lives. It is beautiful here. Well, thank you. It's a beautiful campus. Good place to be. Can you describe what the commute and traffic into and around Lipscomb's campus is like? Well, it's uh, challenging a couple of times during the day when lots of people are moving around. Uh, you know, one of the ironies, I think, is that uh, today uh, every student expects to have a car. Right. Every student would like to bring that car and have a private parking space and have a store it all week long. Uh, and even though students are very... Um, uh, environmentally sensitive in some areas, they kind of ignore that in others. And and driving is one of them. We uh, uh, want students to have tremendous mobility, uh, but frankly it's very expensive to have thousands of cars that sit on campus all day long. Mm -hmm. So uh, doing something that uh, alleviates some of that and is more environmentally sensitive and then affects other people in a very positive way would be good. That's what I was going to ask you really next was what are some of your thoughts on how Lipscomb students, faculty, staff, everyone could help alleviate the parking pains on campus at least? Well, you know, a parking spot, uh, if we build it in a garage, costs about $20,000 a space. Oh, wow. In fact, I think we should sell them like condos. You know, <laughs> no one generation kidding. Of that. But uh, it's very, very expensive. And uh, again, students many don't use their car all week long and so there's the possibility of saying how do we create mobility for you because that's what people want uh, but do that more efficiently and certainly uh, two students or three students or four students in a car uh, allows them to be more um, uh, economically uh, efficient and uh, allows us to provide services in a better way uh, just makes the whole thing simpler. What do you say that we make our commute a little bit more fun by playing one of my favorite games? I heard you had a jelly bean. Game. You did? Well, I yes. I did. So, I just have a few <laughs> questions for you, okay. and it's really simple. I mean, if you get them right, I have to eat a bean. Okay. If assorted, you get them, assorted flavors? Yes, assorted flavors. Okay. Something like that. If you get it wrong, you have to eat a bean. So are you are you up for it? I'm up for it. What's All the right. first question? Let's play Bean Boozled. <laughs> what year was Lipscomb University founded? Uh, 1891, 125 right. years there ago. There you go. I am getting tired of this game. That's horrible. That was horrible? What is the estimated cost of average annual Congestion. Uh, I would say the annual cost of congestion for the metropolitan area, right, of Nashville, is $2 billion. It is actually $801 million. Well, it's up there in the many, many zeros. <laughs> so, uh, I lose again. Yes, sir. Pick you out another jelly bean. Let's check out the colors. Okay, I'm going to take the white one. I think it's coconut or spoiled milk. Spoiled milk, I believe. Do you need to spit it no, out? No, I'm okay. <laughs> the whole idea is uh, a remarkably simple but obviously uh, important idea. And I hope that students think creatively about mobility as opposed to just driving a car because there are a lot of ways they can be mobile, including hitch. Uh, and that would be a, a wonderful thing for us. I think it's a wonderful thing for them and will make a difference in our city if uh, we have about 100,000 college students here, you know. 
I know it's... 100,000 college students in Middle Tennessee, and if uh, a, a third of them decided that they could ride with somebody else, that would be remarkable. Well, oh, thank yeah. you for coming by today. Oh, it really, and, it's uh, you that we have to thank. It's so amazing to have your support and for you to give us your time and to try out some of our new methods. I think it's going to work, and I think it can have an impact. Thank you so much once again for hitching a ride with me today. You're welcome, and mm -hmm. thank you for taking me on the ride. Of course. And I would uh, suggest that everyone who, uh, who watches this uh, look at uh, the website that's available, the link, and uh, go on that and look at how this may uh, affect your life and the lives of others. Uh, it'll make a difference uh, for you and uh, for our city. It's okay. been a pleasure. Good. Good you to have see a you. wonderful day. Blessings. <laughs> you as well. In case you haven't heard, Lipscomb University and Hitch have partnered together and dedicated five prime time parking spaces in the West Garage for students, faculty, and staff to take advantage of when they share their ride into campus. For more information and further instructions on how you can get involved, follow the link in the description.